She looks for what is the most fragile, what is uh, vanishing in our world. And she tried to catch this reality that goes by. Because her life is a life of dedication to painting. It's a life of uh, solitude, chosen solitude and chosen silence. So her dedication is really to try to catch the invisible. Eventually I realized she's not just painting the nature, she's painting the process. I think looking at the paintings of Myeonggi, you're always going to choose beauty, you're always going to choose for a certain peace within you. She is not just, for me, a beautiful artist, an amazing artist. She is a treasure, and a treasure for our history. She is part of those artists that brings together a different world, a world that I don't know that I will keep searching for years. That this art speaks to the world. She shows the wounds of all this history. She enters into the complexity of the movement of history. Through painting, Myeonggi Khan saves the part of the world that is dying today. It's like having the chance with your brush to keep alive something that is going to die. She is able to save what we all love in nature, what we all love in life, which is the tiny, the fragile, the vulnerable. All this might disappear. This place, which is the a witness of time, which are also the colors of time, just looking at the wall around, at the cribbles, at the stain, the scars on the wall, we realize they are the colors of time and we cannot anymore just show art in clinical places and perfect places saying everything is fine. We have to show art where it's needed in a more authentic way and show the power of art.